I am going to show you how to enable the transaction logging in HCL Domino uh, V11 server. Uh, so this is a basic uh, uh, basic thing you need to understand. Okay, so before enabling the transaction log. Okay, first is transaction logging. Second is logging path and uh, uh, transition logging style use all available space on log device maximum log space and automatic fix up of corrupt database and uh, runtime yeah restart performance and the last one is a quota informants so uh, all available space on the log device uh, for circular and linear logging only okay uh, so you can choose yes or no okay third is uh, uh, second is the maximum log space for circular or ladder logging only the maximum size in the mb the for transition log default 500 and maximum 4 gb 4096 mb and uh, allocate a space this space at least 102 uh, 24 MB 1 GB of this space of transition logging domino format at least 3 or 4 and up to 60 64 log file depending on the maximum log space you located automatic fix up corrupt database choose uh, one of them enable or yeah, disable if you enable to uh, it will be uh, run uh, fix up during this uh, automatic uh, we are starting the server okay so whenever the database got uh, corrupted uh, when you, uh, your database corrupted after that uh, you are starting the server your database will be fixed during this uh, starting time of your server Re run time and restart performance uh, this is a standard uh, uh, this default uh, and uh, uh, record checklist checkpoint regularly and uh, second is forever times and uh, forever you start recovery time and uh, logging a style choose one of them there is three option uh, circular archive and liner liner choose circular by default to uh, reuse the log file and override old transaction how to enable the transaction logging okay so uh, currently my domino server is uh, running a 10 version 10.0.1 so i'm going to enable the transition logging okay so open the client logging through the your administrator id Open the admin server. My admin server is uh, mail one. Then open names dot nsf. So do changes on the admin server. It will be replicated on all the other server. So first, uh, go to the configuration tab. Here is the configuration tab. Then go to all server then select the mail server name here is a uh, one mail server is there so click on mail server then edit edit server click on edit server and here is uh, transition logging okay so default is disable so click on this one and select enable so is it so it's showing message uh, highly recommended to log file separate drive so uh, currently my uh, my disk drive has only one drive or uh, the c drive so uh, uh, scl has recommended to uh, put this log file in a separate like a t drive via yeah, f drive via yeah, g drive as a separate drive uh, so it will take 
regularly backup by other backup backup tool so here is option so log file there so log file path so i am selecting uh, c drive okay and log log dir here is logging style default is circular so i am going to select archived is the best practice uh, fcl has recommended to select this uh, logging style archive if your uh, if your server has taking a regular backup through the backup tool so backup uh, backup server will take a uh, log dir file uh, regularly so this option is uh, uh, best for enabling the transition log okay so automatically fix the found client uh, corrupted database you can enable okay runtime select a standard and quota informant uh, quota informants enforcement so you can there is the three option you can do it later okay first need to save this one save and close and open the server console restart the server restart server so server is uh, going to shut down first after the restarting this uh, transition logging will be effective So now, yeah, he is uh, creating a new transaction log directory C drive. So now, transition is assigning the new DBIID numbers to the data database. Okay, let's see, check the folder. open the c drive here is a log dir okay this transition logging t action file has created so my server has enabled the transition log logging thank you for watching this video please please subscribe my channel thank you